Didn't I just told you a few weeks ago that they were gonna drop? Yes, it is time. Xenogears is back again. This time we got our holy mother reborn Ellie as a brand new Neo Vision. And we got the Emperor's Emissary, Sitan. Also a brand new Neo Vision. Also Eat and Gruff. They were also very overpowered. They are still in the banner as the side Neo Visions. So we got four Neo Visions in this banner. Like limited time only. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. And um, we're gonna see what content are they are actually bringing right now. So we got a new armory step up. So probably a new vision card you can choose, or a new ability, or a new killer ability. And we also got the Envy premium step up summon. They, are they premium? Are they premium? All right. I don't... They might be premium, though. I think they are, actually. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Holy Mother Reborn Ellie. Let's see what she can do. Holy shit, a brace shift. Wow. That is really amazing. That is really amazing. Look at it. Pink. Mega. Gundam. <laughs> All right, so four turns, Brave Shift duration, four turn cooldown available from turn one. Vision card obtained in X1 and X3. Uh, no, she's definitely not a premium. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, obtained in X1 and X3. Level one or level 10, Magic plus one, 30. Her Super Trust Master, Magic plus 80, Ellie Butch. Activate Rising either ability, Adder ability, Holy Mother Reborn Ellie. And Gabler Combat Knowledge boosts magic by 500, not stackable, boosts physical and magic damage against demons and Messina monsters by 50. Uh, I just got uh, two new new visions, A2 and uh, 2B, both premium. They stack a lot more damage than Ellie does right now. So, uh, magic plus 60, spirit plus 40, activate Solaris, soldier skills, restore MP by 5%. Uh, she also has hyper mode, one use every 8 turns, boost magic spirit damage of certain LBs, win damage of LB abilities, magic and reduce spirit and boost magic for the next attack for caster. Right, hyper mode is definitely a really good update. Um, she also, her limit burst reduces wind resistance, deal wind magic damage to all enemies, activate the area effect. Now that, that's good, that's really good. We don't have a lot of units that has area effect abilities, so... Global upgrade Animo Wave. Deal with magic damage and reduce wind resistance for all enemies. Fill LB cost for Caster. So that's Ali. Uh, so let's see what Shitan can do. The Emperor Emissary Shitan. Uh, also a new Gundam uh, robot. Uh, oh man, they're making a lot of these Gundam uh, shifts lately. I love it. Um, I don't have Rust though. I really want Rust. <laughs> Um, Brave Shift cooldown, also um, he has his own new vision card as well, Oi, obtained at X1 and X3, uh, level 10, attack plus 130, Super Trust Master, attack plus 80, activate the liberated sword technique, the Emperor Emissary Clan only, and unwavering katana, boost attack by 500, not stackable. Boost equipment attack by 100% when a single weapon is equipped in both hands, also not stackable, sadly. Um, Trust Master Ward, Sitan Satire, Sino Gears, Attack plus 60, Defense plus 10, Activate Emperor's Secret Orders, Boost LB Cost Fill Rate by 100%. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Uh, also, Hyper Mode, one use every 8 turns, Boost Attack, Damage of certain LBs, Wind Damage of LB Ability, Magic for Caster, also Wind again, so they are both specialized in Wind units, so if you guys don't have a lot of Wind units, they might be a great option for you guys. Also, if you guys are new um, to Sino Gears, like you don't know, even know what Sino Gears is, skip this banner, okay? Um, Byakadan, Kulkitan, Global Upgrade, boost attack by 1000, boost physical and magic damage against beasts, demons, humans, dragons, fairies, insects, plants, reapers, avian, aquatic, messina, and stone monsters by 100%. One use per battle. Elemental Burst, Grandus ability, boost wind damage of LP ability to match for Caster. Okay, so Sitan might be 
better than Ali? Or they both they both are insane though. And are they also introducing yes, they also introducing a ticket exchange original armory too. You can exchange this for the spiked helmet, thinking cap, wooden buckler, desert mirror, killer of myths, limits of magic. So that is okay, I guess. HP plus 2000, defense plus spear, spear plus 190. Okay. And boost attack and magic by 50, boost physical magic damage. Can these dragons vary by 75%? Okay, mostly the killers are definitely the best uh, to pick. Killer of Myths is probably the best if you guys are going for this map. And of course, we got a brand new event with it. Uh, Brave Exvius and Xenogears, the second gate, the Light of Bubble. So, you get some limited equipment, female units only, magic plus 50, spirit plus 20. Of course, this is for Ellie, as you can see on the outfit. Probably it's, it's definitely for Ellie. Uh, Dark Helm, Xenogears. Dark Armor. And also the Mumuel Sword, Sino Gears, probably for Sitan. Yeah, Sitan only and Unleashed Katana, Sitan only. But it can be upgraded to plus four, so definitely worth it. And the bonus units are, of course, Holy Mother Reborn Ellie, the Empress Emissary, keep Sitan. And uh, the rest is Typhus and East, 2B, A2, Embracer of Duty, Gao, Red Mage, so we can select Sino Gears unit, 3 to 6 star. And also the Sino Gears, uh, the other Sino Gears. So if you guys pulled last year for Sino Gears, the robots, and you got them, uh, Eat and Grail, they are really good as well, and they are bonus for 30%. So. We also got a new 12 types takedown, Octo Mammal. So, once its HP drops below a certain level, its behavior will change. That's mostly with these bosses. The enemy uses attack to remove party members from battle and restore HP to the main body when any limps are defeated. We had some kind of enemy not too long ago. That was in um, Story Quest, when you had like sub Story Quest. Don't know what it was, but it was also this kind of monster. So, they might change it for a uh, higher difficulty now or something. You get an Aquan Killer from it, Aquan Killer Plus Recipe, 5 star select summon tickets, they should really upgrade that. I mean, I got over 100 of these tickets. 100 plus. If they are willing to do what I think they're gonna do, I will have so much Lapis. Mostly, word of advice guys, mostly at the end of the year, you can exchange your 5 star select tickets for Lapis like 2000 per 10 tickets or something so if you have like 100 tickets you have like 50,000 lapis or something <laughs> just saying keep an eye on those tickets okay super trust mobile exchange tickets times five uh aquan killer plus dragon eater sense that's useful physical magic damage against dragons Rare summon ticket and super trust Moogle if you do it with party 5 or less. Also, they are making a live stream again. If you guys want to see this, it's on December 11. Uh, that's over a couple of days from now. They're going to make a uh, live stream about these units probably. And Crispus maybe as well. So definitely tune in on number 64 for Tony and Justin. They are doing better and better on the live stream. Sometimes the sound is falling away or something but I, I i never watch it live but i do uh tune in when once i got the time to to uh watch it back you know so um definitely tune in for this i mean they know a lot and they will definitely uh answer your questions if you were going live with them so uh so that's basically the quick update for now um yeah we still got near automata summons so um be sure to get them at least to X2 or something. And otherwise just get a Super Trust Mogul. Get the Super Trust Masters. And uh, for the people who actually got Nier Automata to X3, congratulations. You got the limited time event collaboration uh, new vision card. And they that's, that's a really good card. So I'm guessing these guys 
Ellie and Sitan. They might have an NV card as well. For the army or something. Oh no, it was equipment. It was equipment. So Christmas might be getting a new brand new NV Vision card, probably. So we got Xeno Gears already. Comment down below, guys. What do you think you're go uh, gonna be next after Xeno Gears? Definitely not Kingdom Hearts. They are skipping Kingdom Hearts this year. I know 100% sure Kingdom Hearts is not coming because there was no update about a brand new Kingdom Hearts game or whatever. So three might be the last one. Don't know. You guys into Kingdom Hearts, of course. And what about the Elric boss? Maybe next year? I don't know. But this year, I am guessing Cloud will be dropping soon. And Christmas. That's about it. Christmas, global exclusive NV units probably. One of the top tires probably. And um, Christmas, Cloud, and probably a global exclusive over the top NV unit. So um, save your lapis from now. If you guys are a huge fan of Sino Gears, you saved a lot for this. Definitely go all in and try to get them X3 at least because they are limited time also only. So we got like three collaboration events uh, right after each other. So this, did they ever do this? I don't think so. Anyway, um, catch you guys later. Bye, guys.